Good day to you, Mr. McGrath. I'd wish you the same if I knew your name, sir. Ishmael Law. I have seen you in the meeting house. I have recognized the markings on your hands. I would have liked to have been a banisher, to track over the mysteries of our world. That must be something. Have you noticed, by chance, any strange behavior hereabouts? Our village has suffered much loss of late. Many of my neighbors have seen the disease take their loved ones. They get sick, and you never see them again. Maybe you hear them moan as you pass their house, but then the moaning stops. In times like these, pray tell, if a person was behaving strangely, how could I possibly tell? I'm sorry, but I can tell from the look in your eye that you've someone in mind. Watson, the shoemaker. Perhaps because of illness or through the loss of his loved ones, but whatever has befallen the poor man, uh, he seems to have lost his mind. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Any time, sir. Give us this day our daily bread. Our bread, not our ale, our bread. Do you want us to starve? I should have uh, used. You know it, Mr. Well. Oh, you know it. Full well. Feels if off. you want yeast. Smells off too. Grow your own. How are you, Mr. Bachelor? I do not need the services of a heretic today. And nor do the people of New Eden. He seems pleasant. Seen anything strange of late? Do you speak of the disease eating at the fabric of our fair community? We've sealed the well, closed homes and houses, and said our prayers. It has not worked. Apart from that, have you noticed anyone behaving strangely? I have to ask. I have seen the alewife, Mistress Barrow, lurking by the well, hands in her pockets clutching at her herbals. And as I think of it, before his house burned down with his wife and brother in it, Caleb Watson and the alewife had a sharp exchange of words. It were as if she'd cursed him. If there is a Harrow's witch, I'd start looking there. If I wanted a word with her, where would I find her? She tends to the alehouse, brewing God knows what witchery and mischief in her cauldron. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. Caleb Watson. We keep hearing that name. Let's pay him a visit. Look. Smells even worse here. Holy shit. It's justice. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now, out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witch is here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Tell me a tale. What have you heard round about lately that might be of interest? Gossips for shite bags. Not being a shite bag, I don't gossip. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. 
you hear that? Good one, right? This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm, family? Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. Don't go there. Hugh Batchelor said Lucy Barrow cursed the house and it burned down. A house burned down, and I suspect the rest is nonsense. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Ishmael Law said Watson lost his wife and brother. It's ours anyway. Should have been ours. He surely haunted, but, but where's the ghost? You know, it's true. I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. You done enough sniffing? Hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass? You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's burned debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God, and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name, cause I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it though. No, the past's the past, dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. Might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre. And I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre. And good riddance to both. God's acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried... I buried all... Quiet, you. And you can shite off, taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, this it happened by God's acre. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you.
Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Haunted. To the point of madness. Ruth and Alexander, maybe? Maybe. But something feels off. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre? God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. suit. There's another grave beneath it. Here did lie Alexander Watson, until someone took him. Well, they made quite the mess. The other coffins are smashed to bits. Yet Alexander's and Ruth's remain untouched. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did, and he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Decoys. To distract wayward spectres. To keep them away from the Watson plot, I think. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Perhaps the decoys make sure it's the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way, more of them. Get lost, boy. Yeah. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close.
boss, won't you? Demonology. I should have known. What in God's green hell is this? Fight now, talk later. Where do you think you're going? I have to do this myself. Move it! Watch it. That harvester switched form. Physical to spectral. That thing moves like a shot. It's up to no good. This isn't over yet. You need my help. Fancy a race. I can handle this on my own. I'm gonna fly one. You got this, pal. It's about to strike. Time for me to shine. I'm right hit. A vicious scourge that despises the living. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. I sense an echo somewhere nearby. Oh, there, fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need.
picking up something spectral nearby. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. No step from the shadows. I felt this one all right. Turn out and turn up! Time and distance I now see. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. Is he still in there too? He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. For help if you need it. How sure are we that the ritual will work? Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? No. Not now, not ever. The ritual shall work. 
and all shall be well. I promise. Give us this day our daily bread, our bread, not our ale, our bread. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because <laughs> of course he <it> did. <laughs> There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. I'm sorry. There's an awful way to go and so young too. You deserve better. We deserved better and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends. For he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. <clears throat> Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves us all to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. You know you've failed, right? Look at yourself. Smell yourself. You can't live a life in that state. That's my never mind, not yours. If you don't like the smell, you can shite off. I'll not make our lives your business. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. I'll be leaving you alone for now. 
Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. It's just plain wrong. Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. that burn down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Beware. Wards. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? Wards, you're on your own. side again.
Ty must be nearby. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Look! Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine, and you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Her heart! Give it back! Clean shall God do. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Think about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother, but I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. <sighs> and yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol, worshipped 
yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue, smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Our love story shall have a better ending. I shall be as I was before, as if I'd never gone away. I, I hear you. Shall Good. Not be able now, to stand let's see what Lammy Haskell has to say Neither about raising spirits from the, the dead. stand in the congregation of the righteous. This is locked from the other side. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So, what are you waiting for? Don't you want to hear the name? I do not need to. The principle is what matters. Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. 
No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. I'll get it. Mark me. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Here, yeah. take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. He was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who's he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. Something's emanating from under there. Uh -oh. me now. Don't just stand there. Move. One of these must be Lamy's hideaway. Ghost wards. I cannot manifest. Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Beware, wards. I can't help you. A ward restrains me. I can't help you.
By me. You here? This is locked from the inside. You were studying botany. Why botany? Nothing to you? Not a thing. He mentioned an old mill. Seemed fascinated by the place. The incisions are clean. The precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. Nothing incriminating. Yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. They never learn, do they? Follow my voice. Watch out. Spectre possession. Away from the village, perfect for his research, perfect to hide secrets. Well, he's not here for pleasure, that's for sure. Peaceful. Like home on a good day. Oh, it's hell he might. He felt like playing with the lambs. Blair preferred to feed them. I think he was too busy dreaming. And you? Oh, I cooked them for dinner. The lambs, I mean. Oh, the girls are... Get out of there!
take it. Can I join in too? Spectre, going for a meat suit. That one is shielded. Standing by. Watch out! Spectre possession! Ha! <coughs> what should we expect up there? A gateway to the mythical Aralu. Whatever that is. Otherwise, terrible tragedy. Dark doings. Sick secrets. At a wild guess. Eyes peeled. That's it, dog. Heads up. Would you? Looks derelict. Is he really inside? If you need a breather, we can do it here. 